Hello everybody, Phenomenal Sir here, back with another episode of The First 15, the series where I play the first 15 minutes of newer underexposed indie games and then share my thoughts and feelings about them. Today, we have up How We Know We're Alive by Motvind Studios. How We Know We're Alive is a free hour-long melancholy point-and-click narrative mystery set in the Bible Belt of Sweden. Welcome to Harunga, a small industrial town in the Bible Belt of the mid-north of Sweden. You play as Sarah, an aspiring writer who, after having been away for 10 years, returns home in order to investigate the tragic fate of her estranged best friend. The days grow short quickly this far up north, and the rain never seems to let up. So, <clears throat> game was, if I can get to the bottom of the screen, published seven days ago, updated three days ago, and shows a status of released. So, I'm not 100% sure because I downloaded this on Sunday if I have the most up-to-date version because it may have been updated like right after I downloaded it. But we are going to approach this with hopeful open hearts and we are not going to be too judgy if there are any issues because as I said they may already be fixed in the most up-to-date version so without further ado how we know we're alive starts now Up to. Hey, how's it going? How's Stockholm? Hey, it's been a while. Give me news. Are these all the unanswered texts from her friend? Hey, what's new with you? Lots of love, XXX. Sorry, just, to been just totally swamped at the office these days. Let's speak soon. I ran into Petter the other day. I'm assuming that's supposed to be Peter. Do you remember him? Would you believe he's a mechanic now? So much for his punk band, lol. Anyway, life's okay my end, not much to report. Would be so nice to catch up properly soon. Hey, let me know when might be a good time for a catch up. This is sad. Making me sad already. Sarah, there's something I want to talk to you about. Can you call me as soon as you can? ASAP, when you get this, if that's okay. It's really important. So sorry I missed this. I'm stuck at the office. And probably will be all weekend. Next week will be better, I hope. I love the like realistic rain reflections on the 2D. This is, this looks nice. This is a nice looking game. Hello Harunga, it's not great to see you to be honest. Guess I'll check if the flower shop is still open. <laughs> I instantly wanted to be like, what's the jump button? Click on objects to inspect them. If only Italians knew what we Swedes do to their beloved pizza. What was Maria's order? 
something like pineapple and barbecue sauce. I would never admit it, but actually kind of delicious. Liar. Ah, Pizzerina, Pizzeria Verona. I don't miss exams, but I do miss our post-exam pizza ritual. Blue House. What was the name of the guy who used to live here? Sven something? Weird dude, very into drones. My first boyfriend had a car just like this. In fact, this might even be his car. Better keep moving. Greenhouse. The only house I ever persuaded Maria to throw an egg at on Halloween. She put a written apology through the door the next day, bless her. Maria's parents' house. Doesn't look like anybody's in. Same old curtains, though. Doesn't look like anybody's in in the upstairs bedroom, like the upstairs lights are on. This place always had kind of a sinister vibe. It looks like it's gotten worse. Recycling bin. A site of pilgrimage for the true main religion in Sweden. Recycling. The all-important alcohol vault. Closed on a Sunday, of course. I remember Maria's sister agreeing just once to buy us a bottle of wine. The cheapest rosé they had. It was disgusting and we drank it all. Notice board. It's always the same things. Lost cats, church meetings, and, and some for sale notices. Call Thomas. Great life's livestock for even better prices. I think I'll pass. Town monument. This monument commemorates the great Harunga flood of 1997. Five inches of water counts as a great flood, apparently. Good evening. Hold on. That's not Sarah, is it? Hello, Elsa. My goodness, it is you. I hardly recognized you. It must have been years since... Ten years, yes. Ten years! It goes fast at my age, I tell you. I imagine it does. I'm... You'll feel it soon enough. Oh, but is it the twelfth today? Gosh, it's been a year already. I just need to buy some flowers, really. You can't go without flowers, no, certainly not. This bunch here is fine. Are you sure? I've got some lovely carnations in the back. I'm kind of in a hurry, Elsa, if you say so. So apparently, one of the things on the uh, the screen, the, I always go, the screen, for the um, project page for this game, they said that like the way you interact with people will affect like the information that they give you and stuff like that. And you're all right, are you? I'm fine, thanks. Did you forget something, dear? No, I'd better be off. Ice cream. You can hear the jingle just looking at it. ICA, the beating heart of all dead-end towns. As good a place to go and hang out as anywhere around here. Almost feels good to see it again, actually. Joseph's Frucht! Ah, yes, Joseph. Consistently took the top spot in our rankings of the creepiest people in Harunga. He must be ancient now. Bar windows. To this day, I can't hear Take a Walk on the Wild Side without think of, thinking of Saturday Night Karaoke here. The police station. I still have bad dreams about this place sometimes. Why? What did you do? What did you do? Ah, of course. Where else would everyone be on a Sunday? I have a vivid memory of sitting in the pews for graduation and promising myself it would be the last of the hundreds of hours I spent in here. We'd really been looking forward to it. I always found it strange the only beautiful place in town was the one full of dead people. 
pretty damn fancy. I guess there has to be a reward for running this shithole for half your life. Aw. Grandma and Grandpa's grave. Maybe I should have got flowers for them, too. Maria Berg, 1992 to 2019. And there are still so many paths I haven't trodden. Where is that from? I don't know what people do at gravestones. Is it weird if I speak to you? I want to speak to you, but also I don't know what to say. Hi, Maria. I miss you, I guess, is the first thing. And I'm sorry I wasn't here for the funeral. Just couldn't face it. So here you are. You really never did leave after all. Just why? I'm sorry. But you should have come with me. You wouldn't be here if you just... We had it all planned out. How could you have let this place keep you? I quite like this dress. You do? Ugh, no, it's crap, isn't it? So what are you wearing? Hmm? Don't make me stand here looking terrible all on my own. Where's your outfit? Oh, I'll decide on something later. Nothing fits properly. No, you're right. We should be focusing on what actually matters. Getting crunk? Booking the tickets! Oh, yeah. So I was thinking we should get the bus to Stockholm on the Friday and... Sarah. What? Sarah, I'm... Pregnant. You're... Pregnant. Pregnant? Yes, pregnant. Pregnant. You're a wizard, Harry. A what? A wizard. Jesus. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. And it's that guy's? Jacob? Okay, it's fine. Don't panic. We can sort this out. We can make an appointment. I don't need an appointment, Sarah. I'm going to have a baby. You... I've thought about it a lot, and it's what we want to do. I'm actually really excited. Wait. What do you mean, we? Me and Jacob. You mean your parents. Those Jesus freaks can't make you do this, Maria. No one is making me do anything. But how is this going to work with us going to Stockholm? We aren't going to Stockholm. No, we aren't. I don't think I can now. Maria, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I wasn't sure how to tell you or when. I know how much this... Look, you can't have a baby. You can't have one just because this backwards Bible-bashing town expects you to keep it. You aren't listening to what I'm saying, Sarah. Well, I should at least thank you for giving me the heads up. Sarah, I have to go. I have tickets to book. That text the night you died. What did you want to tell me? I just can't let it go. And this all seems... And why would you be out driving on that road? I've been thinking about it and thinking about it for the last year, and it just... It just doesn't seem like an accident to me. Goodness. It really is you. Lena? Wow. Sorry, didn't expect to see... You didn't expect to see me at my little sister's grave on the anniversary of her death? You know that's not what I meant. Oh, I'm sure. I must say, I'm surprised to see you two, given that we didn't see you at the funeral. I'm sorry. I wish I could have been there. She missed you a lot, you know. I missed her too. Life just gets so busy, doesn't it? So little time to check in on dear old friends, right? We had fallen a little out of touch, yeah. That's one way of putting it. Do you see much of her family? Her son, Johannes, and, uh, Jacob? I've been helping him out with Johannes from time to time. A terrible age to lose a parent. I can't imagine. So what keeps you so busy in the city? 
I'm a copywriter at an advertising firm. Good for you. That line there. And there are still so many paths I haven't trodden. Where is it from? Oh, it's from a poem she wrote. One of the cheerier ones. It's beautiful. Yes, she never gave up on the writing. She turned her old bedroom into a sort of study. It's full of the stuff. I don't think poor Jacobs had the heart to move any of it just yet. And of course there was the writing group that Gunnell started. I'm sure you remember her. Unfortunately, yes. What else was she up to before she... Oh, you know, same old Maria. Mothering. Church. Church? Yes, Sarah. Church. I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. I dare say there are lots of things you don't know about what Maria's life was like here after you left. Look, I kind of want to spend some time with my sister now. It was nice to see you. Mm. God, what a bee. But I guess it's not so long ago her mom died as well, and it's not like she ever particularly liked me. She was always blaming me when Maria got in trouble. Christ, I just need to know. What happened to you, Maria? What did this town do to you? It's time to find out. Okay, well there's 20 seconds left on the clock and I think that's as good a place to stop as any because I don't want to like get into the middle of a conversation. Everything about this is awesome. Easy, easy, easy phenomenal game so far. Can't wait to play the rest of it because believe me, I want to play the rest of it. I think it looks great, the sound is great, the atmosphere is amazing. I actually felt really sad like reading the texts of her just ghosting her friend and seeing like how they fell apart um, just in the first 15 minutes of the game. Um, I have a feeling, I, have, I, I understand where it's going, but um, I don't want to make predictions. Um, but yeah, this is really good. There's absolutely nothing for me to complain about with this, which I am sure is no surprise to the developers because it looks like from their page, they've already gotten a lot of really good feedback on this game. And it's obvious that they put a ton of work into every square inch of it. So great job to the developers, phenomenal game, five stars. Link to the game is gonna be in the description down below. Thank you everybody as always for watching. Be sure to check this game out. Um, because it's cool. Show the developers some love because they did a good job based on what I've seen here. And be sure to check out all of my other First 15 videos. Now they can't all be phenomenal games like this one, but there's a lot of good stuff out there. Um, and indie devs need all the support they can get, whether they are new or old or they've been at it for a while or, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, show them some love check out the other videos and until next time stay healthy stay safe out there later